Hello there, it's Austin, and it's officially been one year of five minute brewing videos. But to celebrate, I thought I'd look back at the 18 beers I've made this year and uh, give out a couple of awards. It's been a lot of fun, and I've certainly learned a lot about stuff that I do wrong. Before I get started, I did want to point out that every award given today has been thoroughly vetted and reputably proven through the very scientific process of my opinion. So take that with a grain of Epsom salt. Let's get started. To start the four awards that I'll be giving out today with a not really beer related one, but more of a channel related one, with the most overproduced intro cinematic. I pretty much make everything on this channel from scratch, from the music to the graphics and the intro cinematics and the beer. But every now and then I get a little carried away and spend a significant chunk of my five minutes of time with a ridiculous intro cinematic. That being said, the one that I spent way too much time on this year was the floating keg mountain scene intro cinematic. I think it took one or two weeks of my time building the assets, setting up the scene, and actually producing the final render. But I think it's really cool, and it has given me a couple graphics to use on hats and shirts and that sort of thing. Plus, I kind of like considering how spooky it would be to see a giant keg floating above a mountain range. Anyways, on to the actual three beer awards. First up, let's talk about the best example of a style award. I'm giving this award to the beer that I thought really most represented the style. So regardless of whether I really liked it or really disliked it, if you take a drink and say, that tastes like a Pilsner, or that tastes exactly like a milk stout, that's what I'm looking for. And the winner of this award is the very first beer that I made on this channel, the Schwartz beer. This beer had excellent multi flavor, but really felt like a lager. The bold flavor, the dark color, the crisp and snappy finish really came together to build exactly what, in my mind, a Schwartz beer represents. Really captured the essence of the style, I think, really well. On to the next award, let's look at the Best Appearance Award. This award goes to the beer that had the best appearance, really creatively named. And the winner of this award is the Irish Red Lager. Really, this beer is just gorgeous. It cleared up really nicely, and it has an excellent red color that just jumps out of the glass. As far as beer roll goes, this beer is the one that you want to shoot. Really a rich candy red and bright light and a dark, nice amber and low light. And finally, for the last award, I wanted to go with the best overall beer that I made this year. Or at least the beer I enjoyed the most. When I was looking back through the videos, this really surprised me. But I think the award this year goes hands down to the Japanese rice lager. This beer was dry, crisp, and refreshing. I used New Zealand hops instead of more traditional Japanese hops. And I think that lent a little bit of citrusy to go along with the standard floral that you would get. I used a pretty high percentage, I think it was 35% rice. And if I had to do it again, I might back off a little bit on the rice, but even so, Japanese rice lager, New Zealand hops, excellent beer. And finally, even though it's not an award, I did wanna give recognition to probably the worst beer that I made this year, and that would be the one pint of Mirzen. I definitely didn't clean everything as well as I should have, used some equipment that might not have been sanitized very well. But as an experiment, it was very interesting, so check that video out too if you haven't so far. Anyways, thanks to everyone for watching this year, especially my subscribers and the Patreon members. I really had a lot of fun making these videos and trying all of these beers. I'm really excited for some beers that are coming up. I have a couple on tap right now to film some videos of, so look forward to those in the very near future. And until then, don't really have a beer to cheers because it's a Wednesday afternoon right now, but... Cheers anyways.